Well, kind of boring, but we got the uh, landscape cloth down, weed barrier. Um, this would have taken me by myself all day. A whole bunch of people came over and everybody in the house helped out. And we literally did this in 45 minutes, plus a little bit of time I spent uh, putting down a heavy layer of lime and uh, azomite, which is a, this is azomite. It's a finely ground glacial rock dust. It's got tons and tons of trace minerals in it. On the ground, I got to do a little bit of clean up here on the end, kind of even this out. I got just enough cloth there to, I think, to uh, finish this up. You know, I thought I was crooked, and that's actually the fence. I realized it's not me that's crooked. It's the fence line is crooked because I measured from the barn and I know the barn's straight and I'm like, why is this coming out so crooked? <laughs> but it's this fence line is crooked. Anyway, or crooked to the property, I guess I should say. Because I always notice when I'm cutting a straight line down, down through here, you know, it's like 20 foot wide here, but you get down at the far end, it's uh, 60. So obviously this fence is way out of out of square. Alrighty, so anyway, that's the deal. We're done with this. Uh, next thing we're gonna be planting tomatoes and stuff over in there. I gotta finish this, just cover this up, so just keep more weeds from building up with what I got left of this cloth. And uh, this area is here will be where the greenhouse is. And then I'm gonna build deflectors here to kind of push some of this non-stop as you can see the winds blowing it's always blowing out here so there there's the update thanks a bunch later